Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the fifth video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Knuckles tutorial series. Uh, this video is going to cover Ice Cap, and if you've seen the video of this with Sonic, uh, it's very similar, aside from the start point. Uh, very little changes, so this is one of the few things that changes. Uh, when you get up to the top of this platform with Knuckles, you want to jump and then glide across to the top of the of those platforms there. Uh, ideally you land on them so that you continue running like this. Uh, and jump on that, spin dash down here, all the same up to this point. Now, very important that uh, just over here, remember, is the ice wall. Just over here somewhere. If, not, if you just slide down this as normal, you'll actually touch the ice wall before going on to the next path. Having that wall intact is imperative for this glitch, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to jump off and then glide down into the gap. Kind of like that. So then this is exactly the same as Sonic, <clears throat> where you want uh, Knuckles' head to be just about lined up with that spike. Uh, actually a little bit lower is ideal. There's three frames that work and that's all fine and as you can see Knuckles is now standing on nothing which means he has the slope glitch. That wouldn't have worked if the ice wall wasn't wasn't there anymore. Uh, so now same as with the other characters jump and then on this platform wait a bit jump twice as you can see the first one puts you back on the slope and the second one hurls you off the slope hold down here left as you go into the wall right after one beat in the music and left after another beat in the music and that should get you down onto this angle listen out for a couple of things picked up a couple extra rings sometimes you hear the checkpoint there as well uh, that's a good sign as well if you hear that if you hear those two rings or the checkpoint, then again switch to right for one beat and then back to left. Otherwise you're holding left the entire time until we see this area here. So you see the pit that's there. Um, Knuckles, roughly speaking, is somewhere around this line in the middle of the screen. Uh, you want that pit here. Uh, it's still going to be moving off in this direction. You want it to be completely over this side of that line down the middle of the screen. If you jump and that pit's in the middle of the screen, just above that pit is a bridge, uh, and that bridge is a sprite, so it will cancel the slope glitch, and we still need it. So we're not ready to give it up just yet. So wait until about now to start jumping. Uh, sometimes it takes a while for this jump to come out, so just keep mashing the buttons until you hear it. There we go. Um, and now, now we look at this section of the ground here. Now, you can't really tell, but it's slightly sloped. That way is slightly sloped up, that way is slightly sloped down. We want to hit this section where it slopes down into the ground. You run to the right, you push yourself into the floor, and then you do the level wrap. Uh, and always check to see what comes out here. Here we see the switch. Um, if it was Sonic and Tails path, you would see uh, a checkpoint. Uh, with the switch, it's really easy. All you got to do is hold right for a couple more seconds, and then just wait until you see this corridor right at the end of the stage. As as that corridor appears, then you jump. You hold left and you jump and you just pop up there. Now the boss fight's quite simple as well. Same as um same as Tails would do it actually. Uh, so you so you hit the slope here so that you run up slightly because you still have the slope glitch. Uh, and that gives Knuckles a little bit of extra height to do this strategy where he jumps up onto the platform just as it's falling jumps out to the left and then curls back around to the right so that you can continue to bounce on that boss's head for all eight hits. 
uh, Egg Robo, I should say, of course. Um, and then nothing else really changes after that. All you now have to do is do this spin Nash as quickly as possible. And that's Ice Cap. So here's the entire stage again without any interruptions.